even though schools are closed for at least the next month, teachers are finding ways to connect with their students, and they're not the only ones making an impact. Local 12's Clancy Burke is live this morning to explain what two police officers in Goshen are doing since they're not patrolling the hallways right now. Hi, Clancy. Hey, Sheila, as a reporter, this is my nightly routine. I've got my tea, my blanket, my laptop, and I search for story ideas. Two nights ago, I was doing this exact routine when all of a sudden I came across multiple Facebook posts talking about these guys. And I realized this, this is a story I need to tell. So this is Officer Alcorn and Officer Sailor. They're school resource officers for Goshen Local Schools, and they have been going door to door to try to help out students and families in, the t in this time of need. And you might be wondering, well, what exactly are they doing? And when I say they're doing everything, I mean it. I mean, they are giving these students everything from laptops to pens and pencils so they can actually do their schoolwork to meals. The other day, actually it was yesterday, they went into a neighborhood and handed out 40 pizzas. Because keep in mind, it's not just these students who are hurting right now. It's these families as well. And it's not just physical items they're giving them. They're also giving them this familiarity back into their lives because it's hard for these students to adjust from seeing their teachers and their their favorite friends every single day to all of a sudden seeing none of them. So that is one huge added benefit to all of this. Take a listen. We go into a lot of the neighborhoods and everything like that and you know they run to us. I mean they they, they know who we are so it's it's a good it's a good feeling to be able to uh, to be able to talk to them just to see how they're doing and one thing they are stressing, though, is yes, they still are practicing social distancing, so they do have to decline the high fives and the hugs that they normally would give, but they are also encouraging these students practice social distancing, stay safe, stay at home. For now, though, reporting live, Clancy Work, Local 12 News. Thanks a lot, Clancy. Other school districts are also making sure students stay fed during the health crisis. Cincinnati Public Schools has 24 meal distribution sites going right now.